This video is sponsored by PicTime. So one thing all photographers deal with is the rush of weddings you get in the fall and then having to deal with all those photos and making sure you're getting all your deliverables out to not only your couple, but other vendors on your website and blogs and so much more. Well, what if I told you that PicTime could actually make this workflow much easier? Let's take a quick look at a workflow starting from Lightroom all the way through into PicTime where you don't have to go back and forth because PicTime is built to work with Lightroom and read all the information coming from those files. Also, we'll be touching on a bunch of new AI features that PicTime has that will make this workflow extremely easy for you. So like with most of our workflows, we're starting out in Lightroom. Basically, you go shoot your wedding, you get back, you import all your photos, and you're ready to start working. If you have any questions about a Lightroom workflow, I actually made a class a while ago to teach you how to import, backup, and edit and export all your photos, you can check that out in the description below. So what we're gonna start out doing is what we would normally do, which is culling our photos down. Now the nice thing is, because PicTime can read this information, anything you add to your photos will be imported into PicTime. This is text, star ratings, flag ratings, color ratings. This way, when you're culling, don't just think about what you could be culling that you wanna edit. Also think about things like, what you wanna put in your blog post, what you maybe wanna to send to other vendors, what you wanna send for a preview, what you wanna send for a slideshow. You can do all of this while you're culling and editing so that you don't have to do it in different stages. Cause I don't know about you all, but what I used to do is I would cull everything and I would call something else and then I have to export this and export that. Whereas with PicTime, you can cull your normal way, use stars, colors, flags, so on and so forth, and then just choose from that inside of pick time to build everything else out. So to start out, I'm gonna go ahead and cull some of these photos and edit some of these photos, and also add some color ratings. Generally, I'm gonna use a five-star rating. That's how I like to choose my photos. So I can come in and find any photos I like to keep, and we'll just add a little five-star to those. So now that I've culled out some photos, and this is generally my process, five star means these are the photos that I want, these are the photos that I'm gonna be delivering. But furthermore, what I'll do is build up my own blog post. Personally, I like to color those blue. So now I can go back through and I'll use nine to select some of these photos as blue. Now on top of that, I'm also gonna flag a couple of photos, maybe for like a preview photo or photos that I really want to stand out. I'm also gonna add a little bit of text to the ceremony area, which is also something I normally do on my weddings because what I like to do is section off my weddings into sections of the day. You can see this here on the left corner down in collections. And basically, so that I don't have to edit everything in one sitting, I edit certain sections of the day and then export those. So also while I'm importing them into PicTime, I can see each section separately. So all of this here, to here is ceremony. So I'm gonna add a label and call it ceremony. So there, now I have five stars, I have blue, I have picked flags, and I also have text. Now I'm gonna finish editing up these photos and then what you'll see is that when I export it and import it back into PicTime, I can use all that information to further on my workflow rather than having to export multiple different times. Something that helps me speed up my editing workflow is using one single preset on all of my photos. Everything you see here is being edited with the Natural Fields preset, which you can check out in the description below. One thing you'll see is basically all I'm really adjusting is applying the preset, changing the exposure, working on the white balance, and then any cropping I might need in the photos are done. It's really a great preset and I use it on all of my photos. Now that all my photos are exported, I can go ahead and start importing them into PicTime, getting them ready to deliver, and also sorting them for all types of things. So I'm gonna create a new gallery, and let's upload a cover photo. And I'm gonna automatically choose the background color, and let's go ahead and upload our photos. 
Now that I have all my photos uploaded, I can start sorting them with the filter in AI search. So up here in the top right, and now I can start sorting through my photos. So one thing we can see here, we have our ratings, labels, we even have orientation. So you can quickly go through and find the photos that you want to. So again, let's say I want to find my blue photos that I'll use as a blog post. I can come into my label, select blue, and now all the photos that I selected as blue inside of Lightroom are already selected inside of PicTime. From there, I can easily select all and then create a blog post. We we'll use our organized here. I can edit all of this. And then I have a blog post already made for me that I didn't have to go back through and export those specific photos. Everything that I already exported and imported into PicTime is made for me right here. Let's say I wanted to make a slideshow of only the ceremony. I can do the same thing again. Up to filter AI search. We'll go to our labels. You remember I did those photos and named them ceremony. Now here are all my ceremony photos. I can select all, share photos and do a slideshow. After that, I can select my music, beat match it, whatever I need to for the slideshow and share that with my couple and their guests. And if you're not familiar with the slideshows, definitely check out my video up above where I talk about that. Let's do the same thing for highlighted photos as well. These are photos in the gallery that are going to show up larger to really pinpoint them to your couple as kind of like your favorite photos for them. Again, up into our AI search. And this time, I'm just going to highlight all of the portrait photos. Select all. And then manage photos. And we'll set these as highlights. So you can already see I quickly was able to sort through my photos and create slideshows and blogs without having to go back and forth between Lightroom. Export it one time and then handle the rest in pick time. But that's not all. Let's look at some of the best AI features. Now, one of the biggest things you could be doing for your business and you need to go ahead and start doing it is actually sharing photos with your vendors. However, just sending the whole gallery is not the best for vendors. You have to think about it. Planners, florists and stuff, they have their own business to run. There's a lot going on. So what if you could easily just send photos to them of the things that matter most to them. We can do that with the AI search. So we're going to go in and I will search for flowers. And the AI search is going to automatically go through my whole gallery and find photos with flowers in it so that I can send that to my vendor. And you see I can come down here and show more photos. And so these are all the photos that it found that have flowers in them that are kind of focused on the flowers. You see, we have the groom's boutonniere, we have the bouquet, we just have flowers in any and all photos, which will be great for our florist. Again, now I can come in, select all, and then I could make a blog post for them. They can put it on their website. I can make a slideshow. I can put together a gallery just for them and send them the photos that will matter to them most rather than the absolute whole gallery of like a thousand photos that they have to now go skimming through and wasting their own time. And it's super easy too. I mean, all I have to do is go under share photos, share as gallery, and then I can get them a secure link or email it directly inside of PicTime. Let's do a secure link. Here's my link. And then from here, I can go ahead and send an email to my vendor of the gallery. And here's a look at the gallery that your vendor will actually receive. It's basically laid out the same way that your couple will see it, but again, it's only the photos that they're gonna wanna see. Again, I chose flower, so we have all these nice flower photos 
for my florist laid out easily where they can download the photos and use them as needed. This will make a huge difference in your business. And the cool thing about it again is you don't have to do anything extra. You just have to go in and search and pick time's gonna find it for you. Now, again, since this AI search is using AI, I can put in almost anything. Like let's say uh, kids, let's say they were kids at the wedding. So it's gonna go in and find all the photos that has kids in it. Now, clearly it's pulling some photos where I don't, I don't know if she would be considered a kid. <laughs> I guess so. How, when, when are you not a kid anymore? <laughs> 20s? Later? <laughs> but you see, it did really good at pulling up these photos. I could even be more specific. And instead of just saying kids, let's say baby. And there we go. So this was one of the bride's friends had a baby there. So she wasn't totally in the wedding, but she was there. And so now we have all the baby photos. If we wanted to get a gallery together just for her, we don't have to go searching through all of our photos now, we can select them. And again, it may have brought up some photos that don't really fit what we want, but we can clearly and easily just go in and choose the photos that we want rather than having to go searching through the whole gallery for like five photos. Also again, something big for wedding days is finding all the elderly or grandma, grandpa, anything of that sort. We can do that as well. So here we are with our elderly search and it's pulling up anyone who is more tenured in age. And again, I can select that easily, create a blog post, a different gallery, a section in my gallery, a slideshow, anything of that sort quickly and easily. I cannot tell you how awesome this is and how much it will help your business by getting very pinpointed photos that you can get together for your couples rather than just throwing stuff around for your vendors. Just, it's so good. <laughs> and I didn't have to do anything extra. That's probably the best part of this. So again, having the filter and AI section up here with so many options, look at this. Look at how much I can just go through and sort through all my photos. You can even go through the prints that have already been ordered. You can go through the favorites. It's all there for you to go through quickly and easily built right into pick time. So now you don't have to do your own manual sorts. You can just import everything into pick time, deal with it there, and then get it out to your couples, your vendors, and anyone else who matters without adding extra time to your own workflow. Now that you have an extremely solid workflow for your photos where you don't have to go back and forth, also get good workflows for your business, which you can check out here in some of these videos and have an amazing wedding career.